Well, the holiday season is the time when we make memories and cherish our loved ones, but for some, that's no longer possible. That's why the Gregg County District Attorney's Office has partnered with an organization to celebrate and honor lives lost through violent crimes. New tonight, our Jose Alonso was at the courthouse to capture that moment. On Wednesday, a special tree shined blissfully as several Gray County residents decorated it with ornaments. Not just any ornaments, though. These are decorated and dedicated to homicide victims. Pam Mason and her mother, Kay Stewart, make this a traditional event every holiday season. We're here for my sister, Gail Sandage. Um, she was a nurse at Good Shepherd Hospital 10 years ago and was stabbed. Um, this is my mother. Of course, she's honoring the same one. Pam and her mother say this event has helped them come to terms with the loss of Gail 10 years ago. I think it's, it, it helps people to it remember really and, and get through the remembrances in a better place and not be sad all the time. They like coming up here knowing that their loved ones who have been victims of violent crime are respected, remembered, and they're not forgotten. This is the Gray County District Attorney John Moore's first time hosting the event and following the tradition of the previous DAs. Uh, we take great pride in this in Gray County because the majority of the time in courts, after it's happened, it's all about the defendant, 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 when it shouldn't be. It should be about the victims and the victim's family because they're the innocent ones here. Two sisters who lost their uncle George Stoker says this form of honoring their loved one touches their family deeply as his case is still ongoing. It's still hard. It's true about good and bad days, and we're just trying, trying to get through it. Even though he's gone, Taylor Stoker and Gabrielle Parker say they celebrate their uncle every day, especially during the holidays. This, I know this is very comforting for a lot of families and people that are still going through their cases. And I just want to say thank you. After tonight's event, the tree will be placed in the hallway of the fourth floor for everyone to see. In Longview, Jose Alonso, CBS 19.